I have the pleasure to sit with uh, Peter Brabeck Limata, chairman of uh, the Nestle Company and former CEO. One direction is to look at um, leading your company into a competitive future. You have done that. Could you rephrase how you directed when you took over the very successful Nestle company at the time into the future you wanted to, to see and wanted to have? The competitive environment has been existing now for quite some time. Uh, and when we're talking about the future, I think what we can say is that it will be even more competitive, it will be more unpredictable, uh, it is going to be vulnerable and therefore will demand enormous uh, attention uh, to those who are leading those companies. It is extremely important that early on you are able to share your dream, uh, your vision with the organization so that uh, from the very start uh, you get the organization lined up behind your ideas. An organization that has been very successful will always be a, a little bit reluctant uh, to follow a new leader. A new leader will be challenged and the question, why should we change? I mean, if we were so successful, so. What did your, your dream require to make the others dream the same dream? To deliver to the company four strategic pillars, starting with operational excellence, which was important to stay competitive, to be slim, to be trim, strong. Yeah. Innovation, renovation, which is extremely important. And at that time, I gave uh, a time target. I wanted that every year 20% of all of our products are innovated, renovated. The third one was what I called whenever, wherever, however, mm -hmm. which means that our products had to be available whenever, wherever, and however the consumer wanted, and not only in supermarkets. Mm -hmm. so. And the last one, of course, was creative communication. How did you work out these four pillars uh, in a team? No, it was really my own thinking. My, I mean, I had the privilege to have about 18 months between being announced and then really think taking over. So I had a lot of time to think about it. Of course, talking to colleagues, when everything is very complex, uh, the most difficult job is to really synthesize, to make complicated things simple. Nestle, I would say, is very associated with quality. So. Uh, in those four pillars, there's one pillar, product. Can, can you talk a little bit about, about that? What uh, I additionally gave the organization as a tool, more a working tool, was a concept of 60-40 and later on 60-40 plus. 60-40 was just staying for, we wanted to have a 60-40 blind test organoleptical quality advantage against any of our, of our things. And this allowed us afterwards, in a decentralized manner, to check whether the quality was still a leading one, and if not, immediately apply research and development in order to make the product again a clear winner. I heard that Ferran Adria uh, worked for, for, for the Nestle company. I mean, that would suggest to me that you really push creativity. Um, yeah, we met uh, several times and he afterwards worked for us. And it was each time this uh, stimulus which you get, you know, uh, not stopping somewhere and saying, okay, now this is a good product and that's it. Yeah. Now, well, what can you do different? What, how, can you, how can you push further? Yeah. I think this is the right attitude of a challenger. Yeah. 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 The challenger always will ask, what can I do better? How can I be stronger? How can I be faster against those who have the leadership? Yeah. Those who have the leadership normally ask the wrong question. How can I not do a mistake yeah. so that I stay on the leadership? Yeah. Yeah. The leader always asks more defensive questions, whereas the challenger can ask these more aggressive questions. Yeah. It took quite a while for, for uh, Nespresso to develop. I mean, I remember like 10 years, 15 years was a pretty small thing. Suddenly it took off. What happened? We had a good concept, there was no doubt. It was difficult at that time to commercialize because the Nespresso machines were being bought in specialty shops. The capsules were in supermarket. If a product doesn't rotate straight away, 
supermarket throughout. People had a coffee machine, but they couldn't find anymore the, 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 the capsules to it. And what we then thought was that the target group should, should rather be small offices, uh, coiffeur, uh, things like this. Then we came to the idea, well, if we do our own distribution system, we might go back to the consumers and offer him a full set of service, and then we created the clubs, and from the clubs we went then afterwards to the boutique and then the bar. So it was, in the beginning, a defensive move because supermarkets yeah, didn't yeah. want us. Yeah. Yeah. Now, of course, it's so different. Actually, bad news is always good news for creativity. Exactly. I mean, you, you have to think you have to think outside of the box and find a new way. Yeah and not give up. Now talking about uh, leading clients and partners, in your relationship with your advertising agencies, with creative partners, are they partners, are they suppliers? Who, who is leading, who is leading whom? Me as a customer, I must feel that there is a real emotional relationship from the agency to my brand. If that's not the case, they cannot take care of my of my brand. So, no, no. I think, and therefore, it is a real partnership. It has to be a good partnership. Regarding leading people, uh, I mean, you have a very special approach in order to v develop the next generation of leaders. In order to select uh, the leaders of the future, uh, a system approach is not necessarily the most efficient one, frankly speaking. When it comes to those very, very difficult and complex decisions, it's still the human being that should make up its own mind. Every member of the executive board becomes a mentor to five to ten different people, so yeah, somewhere in the world, where we have the feeling that they have potential for more. And then once a year we would be sitting around, all the mentors, all the members of the executive board, and we would be talking about what was the development of those people? Have they improved like we have thought? Or do we have to take them out? Do we have to bring some new ones in? So it was a very yeah, human-driven approach to, to, to this uh, success. People can realize very fast how systems work. And then they start to behave according to what the system demands, exactly. and that's not what we need. You also had some rebels in there? Well, you always have people who, who think differently, and I mean, uh, in my younger years I was certainly also a rebel. I mean, I didn't do all the time exactly what uh, the company uh, rules were. When you want to make something, to shape something new, well, you have to be a little bit on the edge. Leadership is also to stop at a certain point, even if you don't reach the peak, and come home safely? Well, I'm convinced that a, a successful mountaineer is the one who comes safe into the cabin back at the yeah. valley. And that you should not, when you're climbing up to the top, give 100% of your capacity. I do not think it is good that people go too far when they know yeah, yeah. that they are at the limit. Success in today's world is more like a journey. It's not any more destination. Only if I get to the top, I was successful. That's not yeah. true. How would you phrase the culture, maybe in one sentence or maybe even in one word, that is connected or is the foundation of Nestle? And maybe also what culture is uh, Peter Brabeck Lamata about. Culture is how people behave when nobody looks at them. If I look at our people, I see a great alignment with the values of our company. This is the reason why we can be so decentralized. And if you ask me, I always have tried to keep tolerance at the forefront because when you are in charge of 320,000 people from 150 or more nationalities with their strong different beliefs, whether it's the nation they're coming, the religion they're believing and things like this, you have to have a high level of tolerance for them as long as they tolerate the culture of the company. Yeah. 
So that would be perhaps the message. Brilliant. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Yeah.